Officer Jason Willingham says investigators believe that 19-year-old Tyrone Woodfork didn't act alone in the brutal attack that left Nancy Strait dead and her 90-year-old husband Bob severely beaten. In all likelihood, he didn't act alone. Nancy Strait, the elderly couple beaten in their home Wednesday during a robbery. The couple had been married more than 65 years, had six children, 18 grandchildren. They were great, great, great grandparents. They had been sick for the past week from food poisoning and the flu and had just agreed to move into an assisted living facility the day before they were attacked so viciously. Nancy died from her injuries. Bob is still in the hospital. The family talked only to the News on Six. Bob Strait was a paratrooper in World War II with the 101st Airborne, went in on D-Day and served the entire time, was awarded the Bronze Star. Nancy grew up in a log cabin in Kenwood, Oklahoma with no running water. She moved to Tulsa to work during the war and after is when the two met. They met three weeks and got married. Friday the 13th, Friday the 13th in 1946. And they've been married 65 years and three months. Nancy was a homemaker who made quilts and homemade jellies. Bob was a welder by trade and did woodworking as a hobby. The two of them did everything together, grocery shopping, doctor's visits, you name it. My mama was the kind, if you came in, she would say, go to the kitchen and help yourself to some groceries or let me get you something. And she fed everybody. He's the kind of guy that if your car breaks down on the highway, he can fix yes. it and he would stop and fix your car. They would do anything and help anyone, which makes it so hard to understand why the men who kicked in their back door beat them so viciously just to take their TV, $200 cash, and a BB gun. Nancy didn't survive. Bob has a broken jaw, cracked ribs, and a BB lodged in his face. They were already frail and in bad health. That's why this was so senseless. Oh, yeah. 90, 97 pounds, a little over 100 pounds. Oh, my dad. Weak yeah. from having food poisoning, the flu. They would have done anything. 19 year old Tyrone Woodfork is in custody. He lived just four houses down from the Straits. He was on a suspended sentence for a 2010 burglary conviction. Police say they are looking for four or five more men. As for the Straits children, their focus is on the love their parents shared and helping their father cope. That's all my father could say when he found out mother had passed away was, I loved that woman. I love that, I old, love that woman. old woman. I love that old woman. So long I've loved that old woman. He said, We were. The family wants to thank everybody for their good wishes and urges anyone who knows who these other suspects are to turn them in. That can be done through Crime Stoppers at 918-596-COPS.